वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज ऑनलाइन क्लास अरेंज बाय हरिमोहन गवर्नमेंट हाई स्कूल चापाइन गंज आई एम मोहम्मद रेजाउल करीम असिस्टेंट टीचर इन इंग्लिश वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ सेवन Dear students, I think all are well by the grace of Allah. I am also well. Please open your diary and be ready for the class and be mentally prepared. Okay. Now go to my identity. That means you know that. I am an assistant teacher in English, in English of Mount Vernon Government High School. Okay. Now go to the next one. Here you find that here are some sentences on the monitor. No other boy in the class is as good as Rohini. Rohini is better than any other boy in the class. And Rohim is the best boy in the class. Or do the lines reach up? That means degree. Okay. Now today's topic is degree. Now write the topic on your diary. Degree. After the class, you will be able to identify the sentences, positive, comparative, and superlative form, and you will also be able to change the positive sentence into comparative and superlative. Okay. Now be ready. Degree is the comparison of adjective or and verb. This is the definition of degree. Okay, but in your exam, the definition is not clear. Rather, you have to change the sentences according to the instruction or direction. So, read the instruction very carefully. That means classification of degree is of three kinds. That means positive, comparative, and superlative. Here the word good. In comparative form better, and in superlative form best. Tall. That means comparative form taller, and in superlative form tallest. Dear students, remember that if you Pronounce the word as a single syllable. That means tall. Only one syllable is used. Is here used. So in comparative form er and in superlative form est are used. And if you pronounce the word beautiful, that means three syllables are here. So in comparative form more and in superlative form most are used. So, if you find any kind of odd, it's pronounced in three or more syllables or two or more syllables, then you have to use more and more in comparative form and most in superlative form. That means beautiful, more beautiful, and most beautiful. You can also use less beautiful in the comparative form, but more is uh, usually. Used in most famous cases. Okay, now go to the next one. Dear students, degree is of three kinds. That means positive, comparative, and superlative. Here you find a chart, and in this chart you find that there are two rules. That means number one rule and in number two rule. Dear students, read the two rules very carefully, and if you able to understand these rules, 
Q will be able to answer what kind of degrees in your exam. Here, number one, no other means noun singular. In comparative form, you have to use them any other. If you find no other in the positive sentence, in comparative sentence, you have to use that any other. And here is also used the noun singular. Superlative form, the superlative form in noun singular. That means in number one rule, you find any kind of noun in singular form. Okay. Then the next rule, very few. That means noun plural, then most other or many other noun plural in superlative form on of the then superlative form and noun plural. That means in number two rule, if you find very few in positive sentence, in comparative you have to use many other or most other and in superlative form on of the. That means you have to use in any kind of superlative form D before the superlative form. And if you find very few in the positive sentence, you have to use in comparative sentence than most other or many other and in superlative form on of D. And if you find no other in the positive sentence, then you have to use in comparative form than any other and in superlative form, the superlative form and the noun singular. Okay, now uh, the other sentences will help you to understand uh, the rules. Okay, number one. Number one rule, that means no other boy in the class is as good as Rohin. In comparative form, Rohin is a better boy in the class. Rohim is better than any other boy in the class and in superlative form Rohim is the best boy in the class. Dear students, if you find no other boy, you have to use than any other boy. If you find no other student, then you have to use than any other student in comparative form. But remember, the positive sentence, in the positive sentence, the last word Rohim, that means this Rohim would be the subject of the comparative and superlative forms. Okay, Rohim is better than any other boy in the class and superlative form Rohim is the best boy in the class. Now go to the next sentence. No other girl in the village is at all as a Rona. And other sentence. No other animal in the jungle is as ferocious as a tiger. The solution, that means no other girl in the village is as tall as Runa. The Runa is the last subject, so you have to use in comparative form as the subject. So, Runa is taller than any other girl in the village. Runa is taller, that means tall in comparative form, taller. And then any other, as you find no other girl in the positive sentence. So, you have to use the phrase any other in comparative form what I taught in the first rule. Then in the village, that means in the village the phrase is used in the positive sentence. Okay. The superlative one, Runa is the tallest girl in the village. That means the last subject Runa is used here as the subject. Runa is the tallest. That means tall, taller, tallest. Tallest is the superlative form on tall and D is always used before the superlative form in any kind of superlative sentences. Okay, Runa is the tallest girl in the village. That means Runa is the tallest girl and the next part of the girl uh, before used before the verb. Okay, now the next sentence, no other animal in the village is as ferocious as a tiger. So, a tiger is used here as a subject. That means a tiger is more ferocious than any other animal in the jungle. 
and in superlative form, a tiger is the most ferocious animal in the jungle. Dear students, please remember that if you find the positive, you can change into comparative and superlative. But if you find the sentence in the comparative form, you can also use the same rule as into comparative as into positive and superlative sentence. So, think that Runa is taller than any other girl in the village in comparative form. So, superlative Runa is the same subject. You cannot change, you should not change or you must not change from comparative or superlative subject. That means Runa is the tallest girl in the village. But from comparative into superlative, you have to change the subject. That means no other girl is used in the first part of the sentence. No other girl, that means no other is used. Then the last part of the other, that means no other girl in the village, then bhar is. Then the positive ones, that means as tall as runa. That means the runa is the subject of comparative form, should be used as the last part of the sentence in the positive sentence. In the next question uh, of the comparative sentence, a tiger is more ferocious than any other animal in the village. If you use into com uh, superlative form, that means subject would be the same, a tiger is, that means verb is the same. Then the comparative form into superlative form, that means the most ferocious. Then the other part of the sentences of comparative sentence. That means the animal in the village. That means a tiger is the most ferocious animal in the village. And in the positive sentence, no other animal in the village. Sorry, no other animal in the jungle is as ferocious as a tiger. No other animal in the jungle is as ferocious as a tiger. That means in the positive sentence, you have to use the phrase no other. Then the last part of the comparative form. That means animal in the jungle. Then the bhar is. Then the positive sentence or positive form as ferocious as. Then the uh, subject of the comparative sentence into the last part of the positive ones as a tiger. Now go to the next one. Uh, this sen these sentences are in the rules of the second rule. That means very few boys in the um, class are as good as rule. Dear students, think very few boys. Here the subject is boy boys. So the verb must be are, not is. And if this sentence is in the past form, the verb must be where. Okay. Very few boys, so R is used. Very few boys in the class are as good as Rohin. As the last subject is Rohin, so in the comparative and superlative form, you have to use Rohin as the subject of comparative and superlative sentences. So, Rohin is better. That means better is the comparative form of good. Rohin is better than most other or many other boys in the class. Dear students, think or remember. If you find very few, then in comparative form, you have to use that most other or many other, not any other. What I taught in the last. Okay, in the superlative form, you have to use one of the. So, Rohim is one of the best boys in the class. Rohim is one of the best boys in the class. Now, the other sentence very few girls in the village are as tall as Runa. So, oh. the comparative sentence Runa is taller than most other or many other girls in the village. And superlative form Runa is one of the tallest girls in the village. They are students. If you find Runa is one of the tallest girls in the village, this sentence is in the superlative form or superlative sentence. 
and if you change on to change into comparative on that means subject would be the same that means runa and bhat would be the same each then the comparative form the tallest is uh, the taller taller is the comparative form of tallest so taller and you have to use the phase or to find in the uh, chart that means most other or many other then the last part of the sentence of um, superlative form that means runa is taller than most other or many other girls in the village and as you find on of the so you have to change into positive form using the word very few that means you have to use very few in the first part of the sentence or positive sentence very few then the last part of the superlative sentence very few girls in the village and you have to use the plural form of each that means are as the subject here girls and earlier runa runa is the singular but girls are plural girls is plural so you have to use are and if this sentence was in the past tense that means runa was then you have to use were that means very few girls were but here as is used here so you have to use are that means very few girls in the village are as tall as runa and in your question you may find that runa is taller than most other girls in the village this sentence is into comparative form the superlative form would be the same that means runa is one of the tallest girl in the village but you cannot say runa is the tallest girl in the village because in the earlier sentence there is any other but here you find most other or many other if you find most other or many other you have to use one of them and in the positive sentence very few so very few girls in the village are as tall as runa now the other sentence very few persons in our school are as honorable as rezaulsa here the subject persons so we have to use are not it and in the past tense we are not odds so comparative form rezaulsa is more honorable than most other or many other persons in our school as very few is used so you have to use that most other or many other and superlative form rezaulsa is on of the most honorable persons in our school their students remember here all the nouns are in the plural form that means persons persons and persons and in the first rule you have seen that only singular number but here all the nouns are in plural number that means persons 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 okay now go to the next one very few girls in the village are as tall as runa that means in comparative form runa is taller than most other girls in the village and superlative runa is one of the tallest girls in the village remember very few or than most other so you have to use in superlative form on of the you cannot say runa is the tallest girls because here very few or most other or many other are used okay now the last uh, the next sentence very few animals in the jungle are as ferocious as a tiger comparative a tiger is more ferocious than most other or many other animals in the jungle superlative form a tiger is one of the most ferocious animals in the jungle now go to the next one Rohin is taller than Corin. Dear students, remember here yeah? only than is used. That means no than any other or than most other or many other are used. So you can never change this sentence into superlative form. You can only change into positive form. And here, if you find only than. 
then you have to see the question what form it is. That means Rohi is taller than Korin. It is in affirmative form. You have to change into negative form. That means there is not or no, but you have to use here not. That means Korin is not as tall as Rohin. Now the next question. Rana is better than Simul. That means Simul is not as good as Rana. Simul is not good as Rana or Simul is not so good as Rana. The next question. Runa is more beautiful than Bithi. This sentence is also into compound form. You have to use into positive sentence or positive degree. That means the positive degree must be Bithi is not as beautiful as Runa. Okay, now go to the next sentence. Sima is not taller than Mimi. As not is used here. So, in positive sentence, you cannot use not or no. So, Mimi is as tall as Sima. You can also say Sima is as tall as Mimi. Mimi is as tall as Sima or Sima is as tall as Mimi. As the Mimi is the same. So, you can use the first subject or the last subject as the subject of positive sentence. Okay, now go to the next one. Rohim is not better than Korim. Here not is used. So, Korim is as good as Rohim or Rohim is as good as Korim. The next sentence. Runa is not more powerful, sorry, Runa is not more beautiful than Bithi. That means the positive sentence must be Bithi is as beautiful as Runa or Runa is as beautiful as Bithi. Now go to the next one. Korin is less tall than Rohi. Here the word less is used. So you can get the subject Korin as the subject of positive sentence. That means Korin is not as tall as the Rohim. The next sentence, Rana is less good than Minhat. Here also the less is used. So you can say Rana is not as good as Minhat. The next sentence, Rona is less beautiful than Bithi. So you can say in the positive sentence, Runa is not as beautiful as Bithi. Okay. Now go to the other sentence. Sima is not less tall than Mimi. So Mimi is as tall as Sima. As the meaning is same, so you can also say Sima is as tall as Mimi. You can also find the uh, find in the uh, same picture in the same size. Okay, now go to the next sentence. Rohim is not less intelligent than Korin. The sentence is into comparative form. You can change into positive forms. That means Rohim is as intelligent as Korin. Or you can also say Korin is as intelligent as Rohim. Then, Rona is not less beautiful than Bithi. So, you can say Rona is as beautiful as Bithi in the positive sentence. You can also say Bithi is as beautiful as Rona. Okay, now go to the last one for your homework. Dear yes, students, if you learn or understand the examples of what I taught earlier, you can you will be able to explain all the directions here used. But if you cannot understand the last examples, you will not be able to solve this problem. So try to understand the last examples or previous examples what I taught. 
the examples will help you to explain or to write the correct answer of these homeworks. Okay, now write down the homework on your diary. It is the most important story in this book. This sentence is in the superlative form. You have to change into comparative and positive sentence. The next question, he is the shortest student in our school. This sentence is also in the superlative form. You have to change into comparative and positive sentence. The next question, she is one of the most beautiful girls in the school, sorry, in the class. This sentence is also in the superlative form. You have to change into positive and comparative. Dear students, remember, the first sentence and the second sentence are according to the rule of number one. And the third sentence, that means she is one of the most beautiful girls in the class. This sentence is according to the rule of two. So try to understand the rules or I thought and write the answers on your diary. Okay, now the next question. Sikha, Sikha is taller than beauty. Yeah, only then is beauty. So, Think about our earlier examples and try to write the correct answer. Sikha is taller than beauty as the sentence, these sentences, that means these four sentences are in the comparative sentence. You have to change into positive sentence. You can never change, change these sentences into superlative sentences. As yes, only then is your then, 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 then. Okay. So, Ratul is not taller than Mintu. Change the sentence into positive sentence. It is less tall than that. Then, she is not less tall than he. Dear students, try to answer all the sentences here in the comparative form and you have to change into positive sentence okay my dear students be safe and stay at house okay now thank you see you again